One of the areas that I think many photographers struggle with is finding quick ways to retouch their portraits. Today I want to share with you some tips on how I would retouch a high school senior that I have photographed. I'm going to take this photograph of Izzy, this is Izzy, into effects. And we are going to work on her skin, which is actually pretty good. She's got some heavy makeup on in here, but we'll still work on her skin a little bit. And then I want to enhance her eyes and make them pop a little bit more. Uh, her best feature is her eyes, and I definitely want to pull that out as much as I can. So the first thing that I will do is just add a filter, and we're going to add the skin retouching filter. I'm going to take the skin eyedropper, and I'm going to click right on her skin so we can pull the color of her skin. I'm going to pull the range slider and make sure we're just getting the skin in there. I'm going to take the blemishes slider and I'm going to pull it all the way up to 100. I'm going to take the smoothing slider and I'm going to do the same thing. So you can see she looks kind of plastic. Don't worry, we're going to turn on the masking and I'm going to invert the mask. Okay, And then let's go ahead and zoom her to 100 so we can see exactly what we're doing here. Okay. I'm going to click on the mask and I'm going to paint and I already have this set but if you look up at the top here I've got the feather set to 100 so that it'll be nice and soft kind of like an airbrush. I'm going to have the opacity down to 53 or 50 somewhere about in there. From here I'm just going to paint in, so let's change this to paint in, right on her skin areas. So it's just going to smooth the area that I want and you can go over it a few times. I do have that opacity turned down quite a bit. You can see that it's smoothing those, those rough areas. And you can take this, this is all by what you feel or what the job is um, and how much you retouch. You can go heavier if you prefer that style. Um, I'm gonna go a little bit heavier for this tutorial. Typically on my high school seniors, I'll keep it a little bit more natural, which even after you paint this in, you can head over to the opacity slider and pull it back a little to give a little bit more texture back in that skin. She's also got a little bit, let's go up just a little bit, a little bit of dark underneath her eyes from her makeup. For that, I would grab the retouch brush, keep that feather at 100 so it's nice and soft. Let's change this opacity down to about a 50. And then I would just kind of retouch just slightly under her eyes to pull out a little bit of that dark. Okay. And then let's see the before and after. So you can see that she's got nice smooth skin. I'm going to pull this back up just for the tutorial here. So there's our there's our before and there's our after. Okay, so once I have the skin about where I want, I'm going to go ahead and we're going to head to the local adjustments tab. So over here on the local adjustments, I am going to select the lighten and I'm going to paint the areas of the whites of her eyes. So I'm going to make my brush a nice small size and I'm just going to paint right in. So we have a mode set to paint in. We have a black mask, so I can open this up so you guys can see it. So I'm just painting right into the whites of her eyes to make those pop. And again, you can go as heavy as you want on this. I'm going to go a little heavier so that you guys can see what I'm doing. If it's too much, you can pull back on the opacity. Okay. And then I'm going to add another layer. And I'm going to do a detail layer. So we're going to go down to the detail down at the bottom and I'm going to take the structure or you can just click on the detail one up here as well or you can move the slider up to 40 so the preset will work great. It's still on the black mask so I'm still going to paint in and I'm going to make this a little bigger. I'm going to paint in to sharpen those eyes so I kind of try to keep it around the eyelashes. You can do a little bit in the middle of the eye and then I would also do a little bit on her eyebrows to pull them in just to give them a little dimension and then a little bit on the lips so we can make that pop a little bit. So let's see that. So let's see a before and after on that. So I'm going to pull this back to fit view so you can guys can see the fit view. So there's our before and there's our after on the retouching. So fairly quick. You can save a preset that will include the skin retouching, but it won't hold the local adjustments. But with the local adjustments, you're going to want to paint in exactly in those areas that you want to sharpen or that you want to lighten in the whites of the eyes. So it doesn't make sense to necessarily hold those into a preset, but it's just a couple seconds to pull in and make those changes. The other thing that I would probably do um, 
is I can see already that her hands right here, I'm gonna just go a little further so you guys can get a little bit more retouching out of this, but that her hands are pretty white and they were a little closer, the light was hitting them a little bit more and I wanna darken them up. And I can also see that the, the temperature in her face is a little bit different than her hands. So I'm gonna go back to the local adjustments and we're gonna add a layer and I'm gonna add a darken layer, okay? And then I am going to grab a mask and I'm gonna click on the mask and we're gonna do, you see the preset up here is linear top. I'm gonna to change that to linear bottom. So it's gonna darken the bottom of the print. So let's pull this down just a little bit so that we can darken up that just a little bit. And then we will go over here. Oops, wrong one. And I'm gonna pull the temperature up just a little bit you can see that it's kind of not matching, so I'm gonna pull that up just a tiny bit. And then a little bit in the tint. So now you can see that that's darkened up a little bit. So let's turn that off and on. So you can see how white it is down at the bottom. We put that in, we've darkened it up a little bit. If you wanted to keep going on this image, I mean, I would still probably do a little bit more. I'd probably vignette the sides a little bit, uh, you know, darken them behind a little bit. But for the most part, that is the quickest way that I would suggest to retouch your portrait.